Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're gonna dive into Ultra League Premier Classic and we're gonna see together some really nice teams for you to use and of course everything is gonna be around Wallrain those teams will counter Trevenant, Wallrain and some other cool picks from the top rankings of the meta so be sure to check out all these teams and you're gonna have a pure advantage ev over everyone else because you're gonna be in that super good position for Ultra League since you're gonna have some ready teams to use uh, for the current meta. So with that said, uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, obviously, because it really helps us grow even more over here, our little community that we have. It can expand even more, go something like a boom over there. And by saying boom, uh, yeah, that reminds me of Blitz, Esteban Blitz. He will help us with the battle. So huge shout out to him. He's a huge subscriber of the channel, perhaps the first one. Yeah, he's here from the early days, so we're gonna have some battles with him, and now let's dive into the first battles. Okay, battlers, so the first team, I know I said that we're gonna counter uh, those Wolverines and Trevenants pretty effectively, but the first one might struggle a little bit against Trevenant. But you still have some really nice ways to deal with that Pokemon and you're gonna see in a while what I mean. So we have Scavalier up in front which is as you can see a great, not only great, awesome counter to that uh, Wolverine. And you also have access to Megacorn which can hit hard even that... Uh, uh, Trevenant, so you're gonna be in a very good position no matter what and you can still go to your safe swap uh, Polyrath, which I do not like dynamic punch on it I know that it might struggle the matchup against the wall rain, but with ice punch you can hit the flyers which uh, this team might struggle, especially with another counter user at the front and you're gonna have also access to ice punch and that uh, Scald, which can debuff your opponents do a lot of damage to neutral threats and it will help your uh, Charizard sign even more. Also, if your enemy Golden sees your Polyrath, there is a huge chance for them to swap out. So that's another uh, good position for you to use Polyrath. Without a dynamic punch, your opponent will expect it, but you are not gonna have it. And you can hit the new with neutral the backline or super effective with Scold or Ice Punch. And also Matsu will help against certain threats like the electric types with Ampharos and Magnezone, uh, putting up some real nice work in the current meta. Uh, Charizard with Drango Breath, I really recommend it. If you have Winged attack perhaps that's better but I do not recommend fire spin at all you're gonna need drango breath or wing attack to hit hard those water types and you can pressure the dam down with this team composition because you have access to counter up in front you have access to a spammy moveset at the back with polyrath and of course drango breath can breath can press down uh, your opponent doing some mistakes use seals use uh, super bad moves to finish you off and with the special uh, attack that uh, this Charizard has you can win a lot of CMP ties. Uh, also as a closer it can be super strong especially with sealed jab uh, so you can bait easily with your Drango Breath and your opponent cannot count those Drango Breath so Dragon Claw can be an easy move for you to use to bait out some seals and then finish off with your Blast Burn on or do whatever you might want. So yeah that's all for this team and now let's move forward into the next one. Trainers, now we are gonna focus on a top team style. It is named top because uh, it is gonna be consist of uh, Gold Rain up in the lead, which is the King Trevenant, which is the number two, and the best charmer out there, the Sylveon. This team has almost no weaknesses, but you are gonna encounter some Charizards out there, so something like a Fire type might be a threat to you because you are not having a clear answer to that Pokemon. And yeah, as you can see, uh, Gold Rain has access to Earthquake which is a huge move to be honest and you might struggle if you cannot land that move and also Shadow Ball can help but besides that Trevenant is super classy and your charm damage from Sylvan will not help at all so uh, with the fire out of the way we can focus on the rest of the meta uh, you're gonna have Wolverine which is the king up in the lead gonna go pretty well against anything and you're gonna have two Pokemon that cover its weaknesses at the back as you can see it is kinda like an ABB team but it is not an ABB team with the typings but with the weaknesses instead because you're gonna cover those fighting types with the ghost and the charm and you're gonna be in a very good position if you can take out those Pokemon with your backline and then finish off with your wall rain. Trevenant is a closer that with sealed zap it can even beat its counters as we said you might struggle against fire but you might not since if you have the upper hand just the shadow ball will destroy in combination with the shadow close of course that Charizard and your opponent might have no other option 
options so that Revenant can be a very good Pokemon to uh, fill in this spot as a closer. Uh, Sylveon is a generalist because not only it has access to charm and it is only a charmer, not like the Tokigis, which is part flying and can take super effective damage from those Icicle Spears, but uh, you are a generalist with a pure uh, fairy typing and also has access to Psyshock, which is a generally cheap move and for a charmer this is a really huge deal. Uh, but it loses heart to those steel types, so something like a Sizor, who knows, you might uh, find that Pokemon, something like a Magneson, which is gonna be huge in the meta, might struggle this one, but the other two can handle the, those Pokemon pretty well. Uh, so, with, with the weaknesses being the Charizard, just that, because Talonflame does not exist at all, perhaps Typhlosion might be another one, but you can still handle that Pokemon. Uh, with Charizard out of the way, you can have a lot of success with this team. Moving on trainers, we have the Gallade team here with an anti-meta team style. Gallade really goes super good with its confusion to any threat out there and you can still hit hard those steel types with your close combat or finish off the water types with your leaf blade. Not Just a leaf blade will not be enough to finish off a wall rain, perhaps you need to go sometimes for that uh, close combat, uh, but still you're gonna do heavy damage to your opponent, you can definitely take at least two shields, uh, so you're gonna be in a very good spot with your backline because your backline is consisted of uh, that Magnezone which is a huge closer and can really work without shields as well because you can easily charge up to a double wild charge, finish off your opponent, bail out and then you have another uh, energy for you to charge up and still you're gonna clear that debuff you have from the defense uh, perspective so yeah really good Pokemon for you to use and you can also take uh, good shields with that mirror shot bait and if you not if you bait successfully you still have a chance to dip up your opponent attack wise so you're gonna be in a very good spot also you have access to the poison dark typing pokemon the alola mac which is the safest pick i believe out there because it can go pretty well against anything even against ground even against uh, fighters and even against that wall range so you're gonna hold down those ghosts and that's a weakness for this team i put that uh, uh, ground because uh if your front line cannot handle it correctly, perhaps you might struggle at the back, but still you have so many good answers. If you have a Nido Queen, you can finish it off with your Mac or your Gallade. If you have something like a Swampert, a Leaf Blade will just be enough and two Dark Pulses can still hit hard that Swampert. And also do not underestimate that Magnus, so it can still hit hard whatever you want, even if it is resisted. A double Wild Charge might be enough to finish off a whole Swampert. Following up trainers, we have a glassy team style, but you know what they say, glass comes with the pros of damage. So those are three glass cannons and you're gonna have Samurot, Grand Bull and uh, Gengar. Grand Bull is gonna lead with Snarl, not Charm, you're not gonna need that because Snarl is gonna heavy, heavily charge up your charge moves and you're gonna have a very nice time when you use those back-to-back -back close combats and crunches to your opponent and if your opponent sees a Grand Bull up in the lead and they have a fighter like a Surfetched, uh, they're just gonna bring their backline into play so most probably they're gonna bring something like a steel type something like a ghost type so you're gonna be in a very good position because you're gonna finish those pokemon soon and you are gonna have the upper hand with the shields with the advantage of uh, having the best pokemon at the back that wait for that uh, fighting type to come back so you're gonna be in a very good position overall so you're gonna have samurot as well as a closer with megacorn dealing heavy damage even to that revenant and you are gonna be in a very good position as a generalist as well since hydro cannon can hit hard neutral almost anything and fire types uh, will just uh, be out of the way with hydro cannon covering up for that grand blue weakness uh, also you're gonna have gengar uh, which has access to a surprising moveset uh, with focus blast uh, shadow ball sludge bomb whatever you might want just keep shadow punch and you're gonna be in a very good way uh, this team has one weakness the poison up in the lead not at the back up in the lead because uh, you're not gonna have a, swap, a safe swap for that poison and perhaps you might get uh, easily countered but overall uh, I believe that this team composition can be very good for you because you have access to good moves and you can hit hard even your counters. 
Ok trainers, we finally reached into the last one for the video, so this team style is gonna be a risky one. This is because you have up in the lead something uh, like a glass cannon, the shadow one. Faros you can always use a regular one, but they prefer the shadow because of the thunder punch not being such a strong move, so the shadow bonus really helps on uh, Ampharos. And you also have at the back Grobat, which is a huge debuffer with access to shadow ball, which can deal huge damage even to that wall rain, and have access to my Venusaur as well since he can do a lot of damage against the meta and this team is really weak to Dragon. Uh, this means that Dragon is just gonna destroy this team. Up in the lead, at the back, yeah. Uh, something like a Gudra, like a Dragonite perhaps will give you a hard time to pass. But, there is a but, you can always use Dragon Balls on your Ampharos. Or you can go with Shadow Ball on that Dragon type and uh, destroy it. Or use your Poison Fangs to bring it to no HP and then farm it down. And of course, keep in mind that Dragon types will not be around that much since this is gonna be a wall rain meta. And with Lapras being in the meta as well, I don't think that uh, Dragons will be that good on this time that's all trainers thank you for watching thank you for staying till the end if you enjoy videos like this please consider giving a huge thumbs up because it helps the algorithm spread around the world that this video exists and also the whole channel if you show to us your appreciation for our videos for my videos through subscribing to the channel and following more of my content with that said thank you for watching and i hope to see you all into the next one take care everyone